place called David. Introducing the all-new Fire TV Stick 4K. Elevate your entertainment with an ultra-cinematic 4K experience and smooth streaming with Wi-Fi 6 support. Fire TV's intuitive interface makes it easy to discover endless entertainment. With free movies and TV shows, and effortless Alexa voice controls. Alexa, play the next episode. Complete your Amazon smart home and control compatible devices from your TV. Alexa, show my nursery camera in picture in picture. The all new Fire TV Stick 4K. So at this point, I've lost count how many times I've gotten a pair of headphones for my kids. Hey, what's going on? It's Lofalo Nose back at you with another Tech Take. And one thing when I'm looking for a pair of headphones, especially for my kids, I don't want to spend a lot of money. Just give me something that sounds good. It's ultra affordable. At the same time, it lasts a long time. I don't want them charging their uh, their headphones like every four hours. It's got to last at the same time. And also, uh, give me a good range as well. Well, today we're taking out the U-Lips wireless Bluetooth stereo headphones with a microphone as well. I've been using these for the past couple of weeks and I want to share with you my impressions on this, which are overall pretty good. Um, first, as far as the features, you get Bluetooth version 5.3. You get 35 feet of Bluetooth range for this, so this is good enough. I've used some headphones where, man, you were like 15 feet away and I was like cutting out like, no, thank you. 33 feet with this. You get 40 millimeter dynamic drivers pumping into your ears as well, so you can get some good sound. It's not top of the line, but you're still gonna get some decent quality audio from this. 65 hours of music and talk time. Man, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I mean, unless your kid is on these headphones like 15 hours a day, yeah, it's gonna run out quick, but I mean, 65 hours, I'm not gonna even run out of that. And it'll charge, you get a full charge in 2.5 hours as well. Bring it on. With all that being said, how does it sound? Sound Well, let's get straight into that. So inside the box, of course, you'll get your headphones, which is very conveniently 
wrapped up for you. You can see it has a nice foldable design. And at the same time, you see your drivers inside of there as well. With some pretty decent cushioning. They're not the thickest cushions as well. I mean, you know, they, they may kind of get softer over time, but yeah, they do offer some comfort off the back. Oh, and they're closed back as well. I immediately had everything just get lower as I put it on my ear. You also get some cushioning padding on the top as well to keep it nice and comfortable on the top of your head. And you get an extension for adjustability for each side so it can fit just right. And of course, like you saw before, it has a nice foldable design. Now, as far as the buttons goes, it works as like your normal kind of um, your, your headphones. If you got your power button in the middle here, so all you do is just hold that down and that'll actually turn on and turn off your, your headphones. You have your plus and your minus button as well for volume up, volume down. But you can also use this to actually skip a track and also go back a track too. You've got your USB charging port right there. And of course your stereo headset port where you can actually use this if you don't want to use it with Bluetooth and your batteries are dead and you want to go with direct connection. You can connect it with the included stereo cable to to use it as a headphone to use it for headphones and of course there's a usb cable as well to charge your headphones now this does also include six that's right i said six eq presets within here all you do is just press this eq button right here and you get six presets as far as eq concerned now let's talk about the sound but let me be clear these are value headphones so don't expect amazing quality sound from this as you would from a premium pair of headphones but you are going to get some decent sound from it especially like we said before the eq mode now the eq mode gives you pop rock vocal jazz bass and classic and through those, you'll see various different types of how much bass you're getting and how much treble you're getting as well. Me, I decided to settle with rock as far as when it comes to music. But YouTube content, podcast, it all sounds good from that end. If I did have to give a knock on the sound, I'd probably say maybe the, the bass was just a little muddled. It wasn't like annoyingly muddled, but you can tell like, oh yeah, for value headphones, it is kind of struggling here. But man, the two minute test, after two minutes, you don't even notice it anymore. Now let's talk about the built-in microphone with these headsets. And I gotta tell you, I was more than impressed with the microphone here, especially compared to your default speaker or microphone coming from your iPhone. I'll give you a side-by-side -side comparison. But for value headphones, man, um, it kind of held up. Here we go, here, here's a sample. And yeah, what do you think about the built-in microphone? And yeah, what do you think about the microphone for the Ulips wireless headphones? I mean. Yeah, again, it's nothing amazing, but I was like, wow, this actually sounds pretty decent. Again, I'm not gonna say it's stellar, but it actually sounds pretty decent, especially for value headphones that if you wanna give to your kids or or just maybe as a, as a little white elephant gift or just a really cheap gift. I mean, yeah, like this actually works and no one's gonna say like, yeah, just a cheap pair of headphones. It's actually not. It actually performs pretty well as far as the microphone and the sound. You would never know it is it's a value pair of headset, you know, and also the design looks pretty well as well. They even have different color patterns, so you want to check that out as well. Um, but yeah, this is what you get. And for comparison, this is what the microphone sounds like directly on the phone. What do you think as far as the quality difference between the two? All right, let me give you my final thoughts on this headphones. First of all, for the value and the price, you can't beat it. You get a lot coming from this. There are There is no active noise cancellation within this headphones. Of course, they are value headphones, so you gotta cut some corners at some ends. But again, it gives you a decent sounding microphone and also some decent sounding headsets as well with a long lasting battery and also a short time to charge your uh, short time to charge the battery within it as well, and also a good Bluetooth range as well. Overall, as a value set of headphones, it's a definitely recommend. Okay, really hope this video helped you out. Take care, enjoy. As always, I'll leave links in the description down below so you can pick up your own Ulips stereo Bluetooth headphones. Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care, bye.